Hey, you're watching a small video from my larger course. If you do want the bigger course, there'll be a link just down here somewhere. All right, this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about how to run a group to, um, to get your personas. So what you don't wanna do is do it yourself and then deliver them to people because nobody's gonna take ownership of them if you've just kind of handed them up and told them this is what you should be thinking. Okay, what you wanna do is, it doesn't have to be long, it doesn't have to be uh, you know, crazy organized, it can take half an hour, an hour in the boardroom, pretty ad hoc. Okay, it doesn't have to be super special, but what you need to do is you need to get buy-in from the stakeholders. Okay, the people that are going to be, uh, you know, investing their time and helping you. So it might be uh, management, might be the boss, it might be the developer, it might be the graphic designer, whoever's actually going to be involved, the copywriter. Okay, and what you do is you finally get to use post-it notes. We've come along and there's so many videos and you've not seen a post-it note and you're like, this is not a UX course. I'm sure there was post-it notes. So we've got some post-it notes now. So what happens is uh, you facilitate it, okay, and you ask, you give, uh, you know, you could take the notes on the post-it notes, and what you do is you say, you know, you describe, you talk about the product that you're going to be building or the thing or the feature, okay, and then you ask the group. You might have to jog everybody, get everybody started, but you ask people who are the kinds of people that might be using it. Um, and what you do is you might have to facilitate it and kind of get it going. But after a while, I've run lots of these groups where people start after a little while, like, like oh, okay, what about, um, let's say it's for, uh, let's just pretend a mock exercise and then I'm doing it for my course. I, I, I released a course for HTML5 banner ad advertising, okay? So um, let's say we did it as a group and I'd suggest something simple like, okay, you know, the, the types of people are probably, from my experience, are, you know, um, say it's a girl, she's in her early 30s, and she used to do Flash, the old banner ad stuff, and now is kind of trying to get back into it. And so you write down just the basics. You say, give her a name, and that's kind of the fun part, is you give her, you say, um, she is designer Danielle, and she is 30, uh, you know, early 30s, and she's moving back into that. And you just write it down, Okay, and then stick it to your wall or whiteboard. Okay, that's the fun stuff, sticking it to the whiteboard. Okay, then you ask somebody else and somebody else might say, oh, it's actually, you know, the type of people might be marketing people, you know, it might be a young guy who's getting into it and is doing some freelance stuff and is having to turn down work but needs to get into it. And you, you know, you write that down and give him a name. He might be uh, the Mike the Marketer. Okay, and you stick him up. And you go through and you try and, you know, get everybody going and try and get something out of everybody. And once you've got it all, you stick them all up on the wall, okay, or the whiteboard, and you start looking like a UX designer, okay? And then as a group, okay, what you try and do then is try and put them into kind of like, you know, because you might have come up with, say, 10 of them or 20 of them or 30 of them. How many have you come up with? And then try and kind of like combine them down. You might have some that are really similar. You know, might you might find uh, you know marketing Mark and um, you know and this other person that you've made up is actually they've got very similar traits. You know, so it'd be hard to def uh, define them. So then what you start doing is you start drawing circles with the whiteboard, okay, around a few groups, and you start adding them together. And what you're trying to do is boil it down to the absolute essentials. Okay, so it might be one person, it might be two, it might be three. Don't get more than three. Two's good. Okay, I find two's a nice working number for a lot of the projects. You might have some bigger projects or justifiably have some more, but those are the kind of numbers. And then what you do is, because um, I guess the process is, you'll then later on write up a more detailed one and add a flesh it out a little bit, not too far. Okay, my personas are always a paragraph, maybe two, okay, just so that it's memorable and it's easy. Okay, and um, I guess what you've got to make sure is that you know, when you're grouping them together is you don't really say, you know, you don't kind of tell people what to do. You're kind of asking it, would these people kind of be the same? And you let the group, okay, chat it out, talk it out, because the idea of this process is not to actually, you know, get a persona. It's mainly so that people can chat about it, talk about it, and kind of work through the details in their own heads so that when they are working on their parts of the project, remember they are stakeholders, stakeholders, okay, 
is that they are sitting down and like they've they've thought through why that original idea they had maybe isn't as useful now because they chatted it out and they had discussions and you know a half an hour of thinking through those problems will save people just later on if you hand it to them and then them, them kind of like being a bit resilient to it so that's remember the idea of the goal is for you to be a facilitator of getting ideas and having the chat even if your user profiles that come out aren't perfect it's not really about that it's it's about kind of getting everybody thinking about about um, you know the the pros and cons and who might be using it so that when they are doing their work they are you know they've got a good idea of where you're trying to head okay so once you've got your post-it notes all up and you've drawn on the whiteboard with lots of stuff and what you need to do then is and make sure you do it straight away don't go off and build this amazing report okay that looks beautiful and you know you deliver it and it's all this special thing but people have lost the um, you know they've lost the uh, kind of buzz from it. What you need to do is make sure you do it in the morning or the kind of early afternoon so you've got some time afterwards is to actually draft up a more, you know, a more complete version. So, you, you know, give them a name, add any bits that you think are really necessary and kind of, you know, mold it into a, a good user profile and then email it out to everybody. Print it up, stick it around. So it's not kind of like we did this and then next week we did that. And then what was that thing we did again? You want to kind of just do the, um, do the task really informally uh, print it off, stick it up in the lunchroom, stick it up in everybody's desks um, so that you can get feedback, okay, and so that there's a bit of momentum and pe when people are working on it, okay, say they're working on it at that time, they're actually really to go and they've kind of, they've clarified because they might go off and start thinking and things kind of wander a little bit and you, you lose that kind of power of that group session. So yeah, go off, tidy it up, make it look pretty if you want, add a photo. I... I sometimes do, I sometimes, I find some random online that fits a, you know, a 32 year old female in marketing, okay, and I try and stick that in there, um, but uh, I go through months where I'm doing it, and then months I don't because it's ridiculous, okay, so uh, have a bit of fun with it as well, but um, don't get too carried away with that uh, user profile at this stage. Hey, did you enjoy the course? If you want to see the full, big, long, unedited version, there'll be a link just down here.